opening cards no coffee and we're at like blue uh they have a music open mic on uh and then the comedy open mic and who do i have uh hey i'm james wright supreme leader of the free world wow how long you been that uh you know some say i was christened with it at birth but i don't really know and comedy since october i think comedy you said since october all right. Yeah, right so we got all these cards do you see something uh charge your memory <laughs> yo, whatever looks interest yo i'm going with uh educational cards terrorist attack america fights back Oh, there's course. some interesting cards movie. in the terrorist attacks deck. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been some interesting terrorist attacks. Right, I think it came out in maybe the 90s or something, so they'll be dated. Uh, there won't be, like, the new things. It won't be, like, September 11th. I do not think we'll be on that's, there. I feel like the earlier political, like, they had a little more uh, pizzazz and style. They mostly stuck towards, like, politicians for the most part. Yeah, well, we don't know what they'll have. You know, like, years of lead in Italy, that was a crazy situation. Look it up. Um, Years of Lead, Led Zeppelin? That would be a good crossover, man. Uh, no, it's the uh, the leftists and the uh, right wing that targeted each other. Um, the right wing, uh, a bunch of assassinations, kidnapping attempts. You know, they would like kidnap bank directors, hold them hostage, and stuff. Uh, the CIA funded a bunch of shady stuff. Uh, the right wing government, P2, the P2 people, Freemasons, Vatican, uh, coup attempt, allegedly uh, overthrow the Italian government uh, involving the Freemasons. I remember, and I remember seeing some leftist marches when I was there. Leftist, well, I mean, the left wing in Europe is very active, very, uh, uh, from what I've heard, allegedly. I was in Genoa during the G8. Oh, really? And the, and the, a girl died. They had fire. A girl died. A girl died. I mean, what, did she die at the march or just in at the, the thing? City? They 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 um they had like a uh, uh, place where like people were supposed to have bands and talks and all this thing. And it was near the big thing. And then oh, the, the they like just came and crashed the whole thing down. The uh, left wing. The the government just came and just oh. just sl <laughs> just crushed everything. And then we got caught. They yeah. boxed us in, but there were so many people, they just let us all go. But someone did die, there was fire, they shut the city down, well, they closed the train station, all the doors were closed. Geneva? Geneva, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was quite some time ago. Uh, I was randomly there, though. Were you at the Geneva Convention Center? Uh, they had they had fences set up, you had to have, like, passes to get for the people who lived yeah. there. It was, they closed the, they closed the fucking uh, city one guy he lifted his thing a little bit so we could get because you couldn't get food there was no they, all the shit was just laying just splattered all over the road and then like homeless guy would like come up and be like hey i got all these oranges and That's you're like crazy. you have like this oh my god <laughs> like even at this time like wow the nicety of people like i've got too yeah, many the of humanity. these yeah, yeah yeah and then someone opened the place so we could get water and then they opened the city you stayed at like oh, i'm hawking too much you stayed at like a fucking no worries uh Soccer stadium thing, and we set up the tents. You could hear it was all in uh, Italian, so I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, oh, wow. speak. And because that Geneva, whatever, there wasn't a lot of English speaking things. Um, well, I wanted to say a. something about uh, Geneva. A lot of people think the Geneva, Genoa, not Geneva, oh, Genoa, Genoa, Italy. That's why Genoa. I brought it up because you meant, yeah, 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 because you mentioned, you know. Uh, the Geneva Convention wasn't at the Geneva Accords were signed at the Geneva uh, Convention in Switzerland. They're signed at the Geneva Convention Center in upstate New York. A little wow. known historical fact that I'm I so just shocked made you up. picked these cards. <laughs> yeah, you're shocked. <laughs> you're not going with Alf. All right, so what should we? What, what should we? What, Whatever. Whatever. I mean, you know, all you have to do, I mean, you just, whatever, you, if you see something that's interesting, and then when you're all done, you just sign one and oh, fucking you can keep the others. Oh, Attack on Liberty, that's a classic. Attack on, they got oh, the, wow. blowing up the Statue Look at of that. Liberty, When man. did that happen? That did never happen. That'd be wild. Wait, I guess wait, these are hypothetical it, wait, attacks. No, what does it say? It says, the Statue of Liberty represents many things that are important to Americans for a full century. It is What's Attack on Liberty itself, not the statue? Yeah, yeah. No, it's an. It, I think the the gist of this card pack is like preparing Americans for attacks well, on <laughs> stuff. Like they're hypothetical terrorist attacks. No, there's like, actual ones. No, I think these are. I've all seen assassination ones before. Other no way. This open. says missiles in space. You're getting like a wacko one. <laughs> <laughs> missiles in space. Actually, funnily enough, that's the plot to Armageddon. Missiles in space. They go up. They're like, we gotta get a nuke to destroy this 
fucking meteor. And they're like, how are we going to do that? And they're like, the Russians have nukes there. And they're like, they're not supposed to have nukes. It's against the treaty. And they're like, they know. But that was the plot twist. Anyways, plot twist back to the present day. Yeah. Uh, in regards to, like, uh, posturing over Ukraine and stuff like that. Earlier this year, the... Uh, Secretary of Defense or the Joint Chiefs or something, they were coming out. They were saying, hey, uh, we have some breaking information that the Russians are pursuing nukes in space again. Not since mm. the uh, Cold War. We supposedly signed a treaty, non-proliferation treaty as part of that. You couldn't put nukes in space because it would be like cheating. Well, the Chinese have gotten the, on the other side of the moon, and there's those, what are those quadrants that where the gravity that has a different pull where those spots in space are becoming like that's we. The Chinese have like one of those quadrants already, Dude, or something. You're blowing. That's interesting. Because no. of the gravitational pull, you want you. Don't it makes it much easier for the things they don't have to. There's like different spots where it's like gravitational pull. Okay, it changes so it's, so it's more of an equi uh, equilibrium. Different spots in space because of the different planets in the moon or something. Oh, I don't know. Crazy. And they because they have the thing on the other side of the moon, they have access to one of them way better than we do. And there's two others. I don't know or something. We're yeah. learning a lot today, you know. Watch out for Chinese anti-gravity space missiles, apparently. Yeah. Or whatever they're trying to... I know, I guess, uh, lighter gravity might... I don't know if that would make engineering in space easier or more difficult. You would well, I to, think you don't have to do this. You wouldn't ha it wouldn't take as much... Uh, Force I think to lift I, shit, right? I so think there's you something want about low gravity construction, but you don't want to be floating around like the space station, right? Right, exactly. Well, it I mean, gets to a place as where soon that's as you not. Space gravity is different. It's zero G's. What am I fucking talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to look it up, folks. I just saw the Statue for Liberty get blown That's a up. great card. My mind is fucking. That's a great card. Blown, dude. This is no more Muammar. This is Muammar Gaddafi, Gaddafi who the CIA helped kill recently. So this is, is he the one who got shot in the penis? Foreshadowing. One of the dudes got shot Isn't in the dick. This is, I'm, we've been hating on this dude for a while, and he made it a couple decades, you know? So props to him for just, like, lasting. Also, another cool video people should check out. General Wesley Clark. Uh, Pentagon 9-11. Uh, Four-star General <laughs> Wesley Clark. Uh, gives a speech in 2008. Uh, he was a four-star Marine General, uh, Democratic presidential candidate. Uh, in 2004, he lost the nomination to John Kerry. Um, but he talks about uh, how after September 11th, he went down to the Pentagon to ask the guys what was going on, uh, his contacts there, because he had just retired from the service. Obviously, a four-star general. He has great contacts. This is not a conspiracy theorist bullshit guy. And what he talks about in the video is that uh, on September 12th or 13th, whatever day he was down there, um, the guys t go to him and they say, look, we have orders to tie this stuff to Hussein. No sure, matter yeah, what. yeah, yeah. And he goes, and the, his contact's there, and what he says in the video is that it's not going to stop at Iraq. You know, after that, we want to go to... Right, there was Syria, Syria, there was all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Syria, uh, I think Lebanon, things. of course. Um, Iran, you know, so they had regime change on the mind, on the brain. Uh, and money and power, money and yeah. power. Anything else? What else? Uh, what else do we got? We I got the know. brutal dictator, Benito Mussolini, uh, originally a socialist until he was expelled from the Italian Socialist Party. Obviously, he, the fascist leader of Italy during uh, World War II, for yeah. all you uh, Zoomers out there that don't know. Uh, one time I went to, uh, you know, this was weird. I went to uh, Little Italy in the Bronx, and uh, I went into a market, like, fucking sausages hanging from the fucking wall and shit, you know? And they had a framed photo of Benito Mussolini. Mm. And I was like, what? I was like, what the hell are you guys doing? I was like, dudes from this neighborhood went and fought and died fighting. Like, Italian dudes fucking fought Italy, you know, for America. Like, show some fucking respect. You fucking fascist pigs, you know? So you didn't you know? freak with that uh, yeah, establishment? I said you guys are fucking posing. You don't know. You're barking up trees. You don't know shit, you know? Uh, anyways, Mussolini, they hung him upside down. Mm. Fitting end for him. Uh, I guess these, these are more of, like, history than fucking terrorist attacks. Yeah, you don't know what they're going to draw. Um, yeah. This one just says, Target USA. Mm. I uh, I consider all of USA a target, I guess, you know. 
and it's awesome because the way that the card is, we so in, in, intrinsically we show the map with North America at the top of the two-dimensional map, said that too. and there you're sho it's showing because upside it's upside down, down. Maps, and you don't get to see that. You don't. Yeah, that was unintentional. That is another good point. Maps and the sizes are, too of like uh, Africa, South America. You want to you want to decolonize maps? <laughs> just turn them upside down. <laughs> That's Think about right, that, man. That's right. Think about that. Just turn that shit. Go to your teacher kids go to school turn your maps upside down turn them to the right turn them to the left inside out every direction is up you know <laughs> technically when you think about it it's more space time every yeah every direction's <laughs> up man awesome yeah. hey just sign one for me and uh you can keep the others if you so desire uh, and what was your name again james james my name is james and anyways one other thing this is what i yeah. always pitch you know everyone always after a terrorist attack they go oh you just never expected it to happen here you know what so that's why my model is always be expecting, expecting. don't let it happen to you it's like a forest fire only you can prevent terrorist attacks you know, bring some sharpened pencils on an airplane, stab them right in the jugular, get prepared. You gotta think of your plan B ahead of time. Plan, exactly, you know how it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. Uh, awesome, and how uh, do you like the Portland comedy scene? Portland, Portland comedy scene's great, man. Uh, a lot of funny people in it. Uh, shout out to Blue for hosting us tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's fun because it's rebuilding after COVID, so you're starting to right. see this comedy scene reform organically. And you know a lot of shows, open mics more and more. start opening up. More right. people start opening up. You see some comics in the scene; they start going out performing. And there's a lot of stuff to do yeah. in the city. In the city, my but God, also, just like, in general. Out and around in Maine now. So now, like you know, you'll see like Brunswick and, uh, and Auburn yeah. and stuff like that have so some good mics. So it's kind of like reforming. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, know? it seems like a good place to be for doing it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Come on out if you're ever in Portland, Maine. Check out. Main comedy works, I think, is something. I think <laughs> yeah, you can find stuff. Uh, you can find stuff. Just walk down the street. Ask, start asking questions of people. Start to listen for laughs. Ask questions and demand answers. Awesome. All right. Um, here we go. Oh, I should sign the uh, whatever the front. Everyone does it differently. Missiles in space. How about that? Super cool. Thank you so much. Hey, how it's been a pleasure. And hey, go see live comedy. Oh, that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.